So I'm going to ask uh, Thierry if he will unmute his microphone so that he pops yes, up. Done. Okay, and Thierry, I have made you co-host and okay. uh, you will be able to start. I, I think um, it was so beautiful when uh, Michaela showed the Xtech Lab session in progress. I took a screenshot and um, that, that was great. Thank okay, you. you. Thank you very much. Um, I hope you can see my screen. Yes, we see it. Thank you. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so I will be talking about uh, the XTech Lab experience. Um, as Michele already mentioned, this is a, a facility that was born from uh, an initiative of the LAMP. And um, this facility actually uh, has the ambition to be a feeder facility for uh, the future an African synchrotron. Um, we are talking about a continent here in Africa where 60% uh, of people are under 24 age. Uh, there are very important, uh, very critical uh, education and training issues and um, these training issues are really affecting uh, badly the socioeconomic development of our continent. Uh, from, uh, according to a recent report from the World Bank, uh, Africa will have to train more than 300,000 scientists and engineers over the last uh, 10 years, uh, just in order not to further lag behind uh, the rest of the world. So these are the issues. And uh, if you look at the situation right now, uh, you will understand that there are problems, structural problems in terms of education because the infrastructure are insufficient in terms of their production of uh, scientists. Poor quality of education most of the time. And even uh, for those who manage to graduate, uh, there's often a lack of practical and hands-on experience. So XTech Lab is uh, an initiative that um, has, the, has an objective. The ob objective is to train people um, in X-ray science in general. When I visited Benin in, uh, back in uh, September, September 2018, uh, I realized that there was a lot of enthusiasm toward X-ray techniques in general. As I was um, talking about uh, synchrotron and um, uh, large experimental facilities, many people didn't realize uh, practically what it meant for the socioeconomic development of the continent. But as soon as I started to explain uh, with concrete examples, specific examples, how this could make a difference in the fields of agriculture, um, health, you know, environment, energy. Then people started to understand what it really meant because for most people, a large facility like a synchrotron is dedicated to some particle physics that is very remote from the daily uh, concerns. But this was a very important uh, colloquium and uh, I thank the LAMP for giving me the opportunity to come back here and give these talks because it was a game changer. Uh, after that, I met uh, some um, scholars and some officials and we discussed about the possibility to establish a regional platform that could serve uh, for providing hands-on experience with the use of modern X-ray equipment to develop, because I was mentioning all these uh, specific examples in agriculture, uh, health, and, and so on. They wanted to develop uh, problem-solving skills uh, based on X-ray techniques. And this was um, something that the Minister of Higher Education really insisted on. And also we would like, of course, X-Tech Lab to become a feeder facility for a Pan-African light source, a future Pan-African light source where experiment will be prepared here, also designed, not only sample preparation, but really to think through 
and decide about a strategy of um, uh, an experimental campaign that will be conducted in, in, a, in a large uh, scale uh, light source. And also what we're doing now, and the example of the ongoing training session is showing it very much, is that we are actually building a community of experts who will participate in X-ray science in general in Africa. And this community is already a reality. From the 2019 sessions, people are still interacting, collaborating, cooperating together uh, on various subjects. And I will, I will name a few of these subjects uh, in the next few slides. So what is x Lab? This is a regional, and I insist on this word regional. It's not only for Benin. It is in Benin, but it's open to all Africans who want to train, to get some training in X-ray techniques. And this platform is within the city of uh, Seme, which is now a project, but it's actually a hub that is, aims to create a knowledge and innovation center, which will be a world-class center international in Africa. So x -Tech Lab training uh, started in 2019, and we had the participation of very ma many eminent experts around the world. So the axis of, uh, the, the axis of training are crystallography and X-ray diffraction techniques, of course. It uh, reviews all the theory, fundamental about single crystal powder diffraction theory and so on. But also we insist a lot about the practical use of the instrument, of the equipment, because one of the uh, deficits that we have noticed uh, in African institution is the lack of equipment. People can manage to reach the master level without having um, had any chance to um, have a, a practical experience with the instrument. And this is something that uh, uh, has been noticed by, by many people. But we also have a second track dedicated to math engineering and X-ray imaging. And why this association? Uh, in Benin, there is a, a center called IMSP, Institut des Sciences Institut des Mathematiques et Sciences Physiques. And this institute trains very good mathematicians. But unfortunately, there is no impact of their science on their environment because there's no applied mathematics apart from computer science. And computer science is just a small part of what you can do with mathematics. And uh, working with various scholars and various partners from uh, around the world, from um, with our French uh, partners of Ecole Normale Supérieure, uh, CERA, uh, and many other institutions, we realized that actually the mathematical tools could make a very big difference in um, material science. Because if you combine X-ray tomography with math tools, then you can extract a lot of parameters, morphological and so on, and try and design a new generation of bricks of materials that can be used to change um, the paradigm of construction in, in Africa. Uh, since last year, we've been also working with other partners to introduce uh, some uh, uh, thermomechanical analysis tools and equipment in the x -Tech Lab platform. And this is becoming a reality. Now, uh, the first two training sessions in 2019 were a huge success. We had uh, 50 learners, more than 50 learners from uh, eight African countries and 18 uh, experts from around, around the world, um, France, mainly Italy, UK, the USA, Spain, Panama, Benin, Cameroon. And this was a big, big success as can be, as is demonstrated by the first uh, finding uh, during the first uh, May session, uh, which um, allowed us to um, determine the structure of um, a protein a molecule that was entirely synthesized in Benin. And thanks to the collaboration of the team led by Professor Lecomte, and his co-workers, this structure was determined here in Benin. And this was a huge achievement because this has been published now. And the second session was also a very big success. There are uh, several uh, subjects that have been um, 
started uh, during that session and are still the object of uh, uh, thorough investigation now, especially uh, in the field of math engineering and material science. The current session, which is a hybrid session due to the situation, the pandemic, is a very special one. Actually, it was uh, it's it's a dream come true because only only few weeks ago we didn't know that people will will gather and and, and show up here in Cotonou to attend this session. And um, this is really something I would like to 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 put to at the credit of the Extech Lab team and also all our partners around the world who made it possible. Can you imagine that in that difficult, this, the current difficult situation, we have learners from 36 uh, African countries, including Ethiopia, which is far east, and Nigeria, Cameroon, Ghana, they're all here. And I would like to say hello to all of them. The session is closing very well, and all our participants are happy. We have lecturers who are donating their time from France, Switzerland, Botswana, Italy, the UK, Spain, Jordan to, um, to supervise and, and to lecture during this session. So this is really great. And this shows that when dedicated people interact together, everything is, is possible. We also have, um, and I would like to mention that the participants are really coming from a wide variety of fields. We have physicists, material scientists, we have biologists, geotechnicists, we have people from the pharmaceutical industry here in Benin, Several of them are here, and we have civil and mechanical engineers that are also present here to uh, follow and, and to attend all the lectures of this session. Um, I would like to give you a few examples of what is done here in terms of uh, research. Uh, the math engineering and X-ray imaging session is a, is a full success because it trains people with the tool of image correlation methods, and math morphology and image analysis. Uh, I attended a session yesterday that was just great because people were able to link uh, the use of um, a theoretical um, knowledge to solving of practical problem here in, in material science. And there are two materials that are being addressed that are being investigated uh, since uh, the beginning of this session, and those include woods. You know that most of the time the wood here is um, just taken as a raw material and taken to China to other countries where the analysis is performed. But this time we want the wood to stay here and to be investigated here in Benin so that they can optimize the characteristic and determine really what are the best conditions or using these woods for the specific application. So this is really one of the subjects we are pushing hard because it will make a difference. So um, thick wood, that's what I just mentioned. So you can see uh, that's really something I was impressed yesterday to see all the information, the amount of information that can be extracted from a single sample just based on X-ray tomography and image correlation. So I really want to thank all the people involved in this research because that's a beautiful subject. Crystallography and X-ray diffraction techniques are still uh, uh, on the way. Uh, all the basics were covered. And uh, now we have a team. Uh, uh, Michele managed to bring an ex excellent uh, expert from around the world who are now uh, really supervising and giving uh, high quality uh, lectures to our participants. So that's good. Of course, XTech Lab is not limited to these two annual sessions and there are ongoing projects um, all the year. These concern the fields of health, uh, sanitation, energy, of course, uh, environmental science. And there are a few projects that are being uh, studied now. So as you can see, we have at least 10 projects that are being supported, not only scientifically, but also financially by Seme City, who is a government funded agency. One that minute. is a government funded agency. I'm almost done. Okay. How many minutes uh, left? Uh, one minute. One minute. Okay, that's finished. Almost. 
Anyway, I wanted to insist on the fact that uh, we have all these projects ongoing, scientific meetings are being organized. I have to mention that last year, thanks to the team led by Marielle, uh, practical tutorials were reintroduced at the university. They were they are, they're being suspended for the last uh, 10 years. So last, thanks to Marielle and her team, we had this uh, tutorial in crystallography uh, resume last year uh, uh, at the University of Benin. We're also working on a virtual lab platform that will allow us to conduct uh, practical trainings remotely. All these projects are being uh, are under, are underway here in Benin. Of course, uh, services are needed because as I said, uh, right now the government is funding almost 100% of Extec Labs leads, but we have to find a way to diversify our activities towards the industry, and especially we are targeting the mine industry and the pharmaceutical industries to really be able to uh, give services to all these uh, actors of socioeconomic development in Africa. I would like to finish, this is my last slide, just to thank all our partners, all the institutions in, in, in Europe, in America, in everywhere around the world that are really donating and really helping um, XTech Lab to grow and to become uh, what it has to be, a feeder facility for the upcoming uh, Pan-African Synchrotron. Thank you. That's absolutely fantastic. I think both these last two talks already got a lot of praise in the chat. Um, I think we're starting to run a little bit over time. So we may pick up questions at the end. I want to really thank you very much, uh, Thierry. That was really fantastic and all the best with this project. Exactly, it will be a 